old pair of um, bathroom scales here. Now, I don't know what's inside these and uh, probably not very interesting, but I've, I'm curious. So I'm going to do two things. Either take them apart and throw them away or take them apart and fix them. So if you can see that at the moment, they're starting on 12 stone and there's an adjuster on the bottom so you can zero them out. Well, that doesn't seem to be working and nothing's happening. So what I'm going to try and do is take these apart, have a look what's inside and try and show how they work and repair them. I might end up just throwing them away, but I'm curious to see what's in there anyway. How do they work? Um, and here we go, let's have a look. So on the bottom of these, all I can see is uh, two springs here, and I'm not, not sure, but they could be holding the two pieces together. I don't know, I mean, it, there's some crimping going on up here. These might be put together and crimped in here so you can't get them apart. But uh, I'll have a little look at that. That's one spring off. Oh, yeah, it's, it's already coming apart. So we're on the, we're on the right. the right path. I'm not going to pull this apart too quick because who knows what's in here. There could be some springs and I don't know, here we go. That's all that's in there. So how does it work? So it appears all to be to do with the strength of that spring there. So if that spring gets weak, then the scales are going to start messing about. But I think something's just come adrift here, because this should be going back to zero. Actually, on further investigation, looking at this wheel, when you turn that wheel to move the dial, the, um, the spring doesn't get shorter. What happens is it raises this plate here up and down, up and down. And when that happens, this peg is moved up and down like that. So all that's doing is setting it to a zero number. So the wheel literally just lifts this plate up and down there to adjust that. So if that's the case, if I take this back to as far as I can to zero, in fact I think it should be set midway. So I'll need to find out now what midway is between the two. So this peg now is halfway between that plate that lifts it up and down. And then pull that out and it was slightly loose so it may have just shifted. And then push that back in place. That's, that's tighter now. That way I can zero it and it's got room to go both ways and then when the, you stand on the scale it should come back to zero. Yep, that seems okay. So I think we've saved the set of scales there. But so here is the spring that's just used for weight, so you stand on there, 
and that spring compresses that tiny little spring it's all there is when you feel that tension in a set of scales when you stand on them that in turn lifts this little arm and that is connected up through there to the wheel and on the top of the wheel there is the gauge so if I move this little lever up which we just showed that's doing that so when you stand on the scale, up it goes. This little adjusting wheel, all that's doing is moving this plate here up and down, which just lifts this up and down, which is zero in the scale indicator so the next thing I want to do now is just put it back together and um, see whether I can hook the springs back on which might be a little bit of a challenge but there does seem to be a fair size hole there so I might be able to get some hook nose pliers in there and reattach and on this part you've just got these little feet there in each corner that sit on these frames and that's what's pushing down evenly on the spring Fix all your stuff. There you go, all fixed. Remember the motto stay alert, protect the NHS, and fix all your stuff. Fourteen and a half stone. Something wrong with them. <laughs>